Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to build and deploy code to AEM using Jenkins. There are a number of tools available. Jenkins is one of the open source tool to perform these tasks. So in coming few tutorials, we'll see the concepts and the demos, how you can build and deploy AEM code using Jenkins. So you must have a question. Why do you need Jenkins or any other tool to perform these tasks? Because your project means your code base is managed as a Maven project and Maven gives you the functionality to build and deploy your code. So why exactly you need a third party tool to perform these tasks? Let's say that at a high level, there are two ways. You can build and deploy using Maven commands and the profiles or you can build using Maven and you can use curl to deploy this code to AEM. So why exactly do you need a tool? So to understand this, let's take a scenario. Your code is there in GitHub, GitHub or any other repository on the cloud. And your AM is on a different machine, different server. So you cannot build your code on any of these platform, means you cannot build on GitHub and straight away you cannot deploy it. So what you need? You assign a developer or a number of the person with a machine, with its own machine. So I'm taking a reference of a single machine to understand. Let's say you have a machine. So what you do, you clone that repository means you get that code from the cloud repo, you build that on that machine and then you deploy it to AEM. These intermediate machine and AEM can be on the same machine as well. I'm just referencing as a separate machine just to understand. So every time you perform these tasks, let's say you have a big team with the developers of a different domain. Whenever they push something, some code to your repository, every time you have to perform these tasks means you have to build and you have to deploy. So this is a very complex process means you managing this process throughout the cycle of your development or later it's a complex task. Why it is a complex? It's a manual. Every time, whenever you want to deploy, you have to perform some task, means either manually, even if you're writing some script to achieve this, you have to trigger that. Consistency. Your number of the developer pushing those changes. And let's say number of people performing these tasks. So your code is not consistent. So whenever you're deploying something, someone else also uh, pushing that code. So managing this, it's a very complex task. Security. The person who is performing these tasks, these tasks. So this machine know everything about my this GitHub or code base and know about this guy as well. So everything, all the authentication is open because you are doing this task manually. You must be having the credentials for this machine as well as this machine. So there is a problem. Expertise. Because you are performing these tasks continuously, you need a people who know these tasks, who know how to perform these curl operation how to build using even the Maven commands, how to clear your cache as well. So you need a people of expertise. Now let's assume if somehow I replace this intermediate machine with some tool who perform these tasks itself automatically means I configure it once and then I can perform these iteratively task without any help of any developer. So Jenkins is the one of the tool which we can replace here. Now you can configure jobs once and these jobs you can trigger iteratively every time whenever you need or these jobs can be triggered by itself whenever you deploy, whenever you push something in your code base. So to understand this, how we can achieve this using Jenkins, we'll cover that in few coming tutorials. So what you can expect from these tutorials. We'll talk about different kind of jobs, how you can build and deploy using Maven or the curl. We'll see how you can perform some other activities of AEM, let's say cache clear. We'll talk about the Apache web server as well, what we can achieve about the, the server using Jenkins and we'll see some different use cases. So what is expectation from you? You must have some basic understanding of Jenkins. If you don't have I will add some tutorials, means some videos from some other channel. You can go back and check those. If you have some basic understanding, straight away you can jump on these tutorials. So in coming few tutorials, we'll see the demo because there's nothing much conceptually. We'll see the demo and we'll learn by creating jobs. I hope you understood. If you have any question, add your comment.